Hey guys, still be showing you how to follow an advanced code in a gateway RAM dump. So a few people have requested this. It's really not important. It's not going to teach you how to code or anything, but it just gets you a little more used to the different code types and stuff that are used in a somewhat advanced code. So this is a pointer and pointer code, and it also features the DC code type, which subtracts or adds stuff depending on your input. So let's get started. The D3 code type, this tells you to go to whatever this is. So in our case it's zero, so we don't have to do anything because we're already at zero. So sometimes you might see like one, thought, like one. sometimes you might see a two, actually no, sometimes you'll see like a one seven. So yeah, in our case it's zero, so we have nothing to do. These two lines, it tells you if it's between these two addresses, then it'll execute the code. But if it's not, then it'll abort the code. This is useful because sometimes loading times they use these, they use the address to store other data. But sometimes if you write to that data while it's like being loaded, then it'll like crash the game. So this is pretty useful, but it's not completely essential. You could delete these two lines and it would work just fine. But it would probably crash a lot more often. So this B code type, this is a pointer code. It tells you to go to this address, then take the value of that and interpret that and load it into the base address. So we're going to copy this, and let's go here in our RAM dump, and we're going to we're going to get the value of it. So it's just these four um, eight bits that follow it, or thirty two bits, I guess I should say. So you're just going to copy these, and let's paste them below, and we need to invert them. So 1614E738. So this means, if going back to the code type above, this means that the code would be executed because it is in between these two ranges. If this was 15 or something, it would not be executed. So yeah, that's just showing how it works a little bit, kind of uh, example. So now we're going to subtract something because the DC code type tells us to either add or subtract. But if you see four F's in a row, that means subtract. If you see zeros, then that means to add. But in our case, it's F's. So, and then it's going to be one and then eight zeros minus this. So it, if it's subtracting, it'll always be it'll always be this number. But if it's adding, then it would just be simply this. So now, we, if you took math class, then you know that you need to do parentheses first. So in our calculator, let's change the view to programmer, and let's change this to hex. And we're gonna go here, and let's subtract this. and it gets us this. So now we can simplify the code. So let's paste this here. So this is the same thing. So now we're going to do this in our hex calculator. And it'll get us this. So now we are right here again. We just did this line, so we're back here. So if you, if you remember above, the B code type is a pointer. So we're going to add zero to it, and we're going to take the value of this. So let's go here, and let's get the value. And we've got to invert it again. So 16D3C18C. So you can probably tell how I inverted that. So now we've got this. So now we need to do another subtraction. So let's do that. And this time it'll be this. So let's do this in our hex calculator. Because parentheses always go first, as I said. So now we've got this. So let's do this in our hex calculator now. And 
gets us this. So now we're almost done with the code. So let's go here. And this tell this tells us to add zero to it and then write this value. So a one tells you to write sixteen bits, that'll write these last four digits. A two tells you to write the last two digits, and a zero tells you to write all thirty two bits. So the way the way that this is useful is because sometimes other data is stored directly next to this that you do not want to modify. So like in this case I don't think it is because there's zeros all around it. But let's say right before that this was like let's say it was that right before it. If we wanted to write like thirty two bits to it then it would probably modify some of the data around it and it would mess it up. So we don't want to do that. So let me just go back there. Yeah. So um, now we pretty much are done. We just gotta write the 7FFFF to it. And that's it. So this is how you follow a more advanced code in a gateway RAM dump. If you need any help, just comment below and I'll help you. Because I've been doing this for a while and a lot of the code types can get confusing. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, comment for videos, tutorials, and stuff, and I'll see you next time.